Good morning. Glad you could join us again for a strong and sturdy podcast. I hope you're having a great day so far. Halfway through the week, right in the middle. Church tonight, 7 o'clock. Love for you to be there. See what God has for you. And uh, don't miss what God has for you. There could be a truth that could be revolutionary to your life. You just show up to church and it'd be a wonderful thing. I can tell you that. Uh, the Bible, I'm going to bring to you a, a topic today, a prepared person, a prepared person. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 25, verse 7, Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the, to, unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest they be not enough for us and you. But go rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they came to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready in with him, uh, ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know not neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man com cometh. Preparation. Preparation in your life is a trait that you ought to adopt. a trait that you ought to put into your life. The opposite of preparation could be procrastination. And it uh, reminds me of in college. I remember I was just talking about it the other day. But because uh, the topic came up, but uh, we had an assignment and history, uh, recent history. I'm not, a, I, 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 I'm uh, not a fan of recent history as far as personally, and it's not something that's my on my favorite list. And in college, it wasn't on my favorite list. And they gave us an assignment book to read. It was called America's Best Hope, and it was a thick book. And uh, as as a great college student, I left it until the night before or a couple nights before to read that entire book. And uh, and I had to down it and I downloaded the uh, audio book and I listened to it for like hours and hours straight. All because I procrastinated. I didn't prepare for the uh, lesson at hand. I didn't prepare for the task at hand. In your life, if you're going to do well, if you're going to do exceptionally well in life, in general, you're going to have to learn to prepare and make preparations to make sure that you do do well in life. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And a failing to prepare is preparing to fail. I heard that statement many years ago, not my own statement, but failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Prepare simply means to make ready, to make fit yourself fit for a task. It's putting yourself in a position where you're ready for the task at hand, where you've done all the lake work, you've done all the preparation, you've done all the work that needs to be done to ensure the task or the event or the uh, the uh, job at hand goes well and is planned. I'm going to give you a couple things today that I think will be a help to you. Number one, if you don't prepare to, to, if you don't prepare, you will not do the task well. I say it again, if you do not prepare, you will not do the task well. I don't want you to fail at task. We have a task of life, and I don't want you to fail at it. And God has given us principles in his word in order to help us prepare. These virgins failed. All right? They failed. They failed to get their oil when they should have gotten their oil, way before the bridegroom ever came. If they had prepared like the wise virgins, they would have been just fine. Yet a lack of preparation, a lack of figuring out what needed to be done. I don't know what they did with their time, but they definitely did not get oil with their time. And as a result, they were not let in to the wedding. And my friend, you got to understand that you you are not preparing will cause you to miss out on things in life. Will cause you to miss out on opportunities. God has a prepared place for a prepared person. There's a place God wants you to go. And when it comes to preparation, it is your job to prepare yourself for the task God has for you. Now, there are things that God will do to prepare you for a task, but also things you're going to have to do to prepare your task. If you want a, a job that pays a good amount of money, you're going to have to prepare yourself for that job that pays a lot of money. You're going to have to wake up on time. You're going to have to have character. You're going to have to go to work when you don't feel like going to work. You're going to prepare yourself for those things at hand. Last minute is not how you ought to live your life. 
And in college, I uh, you saw uh, college students that uh, woke up five minutes before class started. All right. Now they were in class. My friend, they did not get what they were supposed to get. They did not prepare for the class. They lived their life last minute. I'm going to do things last minute. I'm going to do projects last minute. I'm going to uh, get in the shower last minute. I'm going to go get on the bus route last minute. Bring somebody to church last minute. Everything was last minute. Ne nothing was about preparation. My friend, if you want to excel at life, you're going to have to learn to prepare and take care of it. We have uh, many events coming up here. We got a, a fall program coming up. We got a uh, some smaller events. We have week church every Sunday. Everything has preparation. And when pastor preaches, there's preparation. When uh, the songs are played, when the uh, the music is done, it's not done haphazardly. Everything has preparation. The choir sings. It has preparation. And why? Because in order for things to go well, in order for things to be done properly, preparation is needed. Same thing goes with your life. And last minute is not how you want to live your life. Number two, those who don't prepare are foolish. Just a straight statement. Those who don't prepare are foolish. You want to prepare. I don't want you to end up in life being the fool. Being the fool that shows up and nothing's ready. Being the fool that, that uh, uh, you don't prepare for the task at hand. Whether, regardless of what that task is, it could be bringing somebody to church. Bringing people to church takes preparation. I know every Sunday we have to prepare. Every week I prepare for Sunday for the bus to run. We prepare for the uh, things to run well. I just, uh, last winter we had problems with our snowblower. And uh, so I had to make a point before the winter comes, I got to make sure that snowblower is operational. And so I was out there about an hour fixing it, cleaning out the carburetor, make sure that thing runs. When I was done, that thing purred like a kid, like it was brand new. And about knowing that it's going to start and run effectively in the winter time. But that takes preparation. Me waiting till the winter time comes when it's minus uh, 15 out is not the time to fix the snowblower. Preparation is needed. And uh, when Christ comes back, that's not the time to work for Christ. It's too late then. And uh, when church comes Sunday morning, is not the time to pick the hymns on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Why? Because uh, it's going to fail. And uh, preparation is needed. Put in time. Put time in to figure out what needs to be done. Plan so you're not caught off guard. And uh, there are things that are going to catch us off guard in life in general. But there's a lot of things that can be avoided if preparation was instituted. And uh, uh, for example, every week I make sure the buses are taken care of. We have we have to make sure there's oil in the bus, make sure there's all the fluids are topped up, make sure everything's running quickly. We had the inspections taken care of, and to make sure everything's right. If I go out on a Sunday morning run and I run out of, run out of oil or I run out of antifreeze or I run out of windshield washer fluid, there was a lack of preparation there. There's a lack of preparation if things aren't taken care of. So I have to put it. So you put it in your schedule to make sure that you put the time and the effort towards it. You prepare for the coming day, so that you can uh, so you can work and uh, so you can excuse me so you can uh, come out well. So you can run well. It takes preparation. You do not do it haphazardly. Some ways we can plan and prepare. When it comes to spiritual life, we want to walk with God every day. We want to prepare for that day. Set that day, set your day off on a right note. Walk with God. Get in your Bible. Get in your prayer time. And, and, and know what you have to do at the beginning of the day. And I have a list. And I write down, I have the whole week spread out in front of me. This is what i got to do every single day. And, uh, and when it comes to tasks, and i got to make sure these are taken care of. And, uh, for example, on wet Tuesdays, I make sure the hymns are taken care of, the choir is taken care of. It's my task, uh, day to do odd projects around the church. So if things are falling apart, i got to make sure they're uh, uh, corrected. And yesterday was the weeds, it was the lawn, it was uh, fixing the lawnmower to make sure it's ready for the winter time and ready for next spring. And uh, everything takes preparation. you got to know what you got to do. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to fail. And as you got to know what you're doing, plan ahead. Don't 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 follow the eight ball. Get ahead of the eight ball. And a plan to give your best to every task. Every task is important, so give your best. Every task is vital, so give your best. Give your best to prepare and plan for what comes ahead. And uh, have, we want to have uh, 70 on the bus. 
uh, when it comes to this uh, fall program. We want to blow it out of the park. And uh, well, how, how is that going to happen? Well, it takes preparation, it takes effort, it takes sticking, it takes putting things together to make sure everything runs smoothly. And in your life, you're going to have to learn to prepare if you're going to excel. And I want you to excel. I want you to do your best for God. I want you to give everything that you can to the service of God. But preparation is needed. Waking up on time is needed. Prepare to wake up on time. Prepare to be where you're supposed to be. Prepare everything in your life so you can function well. So you can function well. And I'll, I'll close with this. But uh, an engine in a car took a lot of preparation and planning. All right, somebody can wake up in the morning and just throw parts together. All right, it wouldn't run very well. The same thing goes with your life. If you're going to run well, you're going to have to prepare. Don't be a foolish person. Don't be like these foolish virgins that took no oil. They didn't put enough thought into the preparation and planning and uh, uh, so that they could have run that race well and gotten to the wedding when they were supposed to. But be like the wise virgins. They took their oil. They prepared they trimmed their lamps so when the, when the bridegroom came, they were ready to go. And my friend, be ready to go in your life. Prepare and plan. Be a prepared person. Well, that's a blessing. Hope that's a testimony, help to you this morning. If I can be a help to you in any way, please let me know. I'd love to see you tonight, 7 o'clock. See what God has for you. Have a great day and God bless.